that we come here on our bended knees, praying for your forgiveness, and also praising you with songs and hymns. At this moment, I pray for everyone who is here, whatever their problems are, whatever their trials are, their temptations, Lord, you know their hearts. I pray that you touch them, be with them, guide them, be their provider, for you are the greatest provider. At this time, we bring our hearts to you. We have so many people who have problems in our church, outside our community. We pray for our grandmother who go be sick in hospital, be with her, touch her with your healing hand. For those who have been bereaved, you are the great comforter. We pray for our sister, Emilia, and also for our elder, Siti, and his family. They are having a bereavement, they have lost their loved ones. Lord, you, you, you are the only one to comfort them. At this moment, we thank you for giving us voices to sing and to praise you. We thank you for giving us the voices and because we have the voices, we can praise you. Lord, we know if we don't lift our voices, even rocks will sing to praise you. So Lord, give us the heart to be committed to sing to you, to praise you in every way we can. At this time, bless the rest of the program. Praise everyone who is singing and who is listening. Let something from the songs touch their hearts. Be with us now forevermore. We pray Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen.
Amen. Sometimes I get weary and where I stay, I stay. I stumble and fall on the way. One I am the hopeless because I know I'll be free if I can get to heaven someday.
that this is too much. I should be at work right now, and the way they want people for overtime as bonuses, this business of coming to church and not going to work is not working. I am dropping up. I'm dropping up. No, you don't have to drop out. You know, the road is narrow. Jesus said that he's coming back soon. Soon will you see him. Ah, uh, soon. Since I came to America, I just came soon and just came soon. <laughs> I'm all set. Thank you. I'm very unwanted. Ah! Uh -huh.
been marked up showing my growth through the years. I'm looking into the closet and I see my little blanket tucked away. That blanket that kept me safe through the years. I'm looking into the kitchen and I see that one cabinet door that has a little chip on it that dad always says he's going to fix. I'm looking at the rocking chair that dad would come home and head to. But now it's just still. I'm looking at my mother, sitting on the couch, holding on to my father's favorite shirt, clinging onto it in hopes of feeling him near to her side. I'm looking at my little sister, staring at me with eyes of confusion, and she's asking me when daddy will come home, but how can I tell her? How can I tell her that daddy will not be coming home again? How can I tell her that she will never get to sit on daddy's lap as he rocks on that rocking chair, sharing a wild and whimsical story? How can I tell her that she won't get that goodnight kiss from that one man that she looks up to as her protector? How can I tell her that daddy got taken away today in one of those sweeps? How do I tell her that I hid away as they took that away and I was way too scared to stand up and fight for him? How do I tell her that just because we look a certain way, we don't have a piece of paper, that just because we are different, our home that we have known for years will be taken away from her? How do I tell her? Because all I can say is, baby girl, daddy will be home soon. All I can say is a fabricated lie laced with imaginary happiness in a pool of shattered dreams, all held together by broken threads of failing hope. But rather than say all that, I close my eyes, I take a deep breath, and wonder, where is my home? And as I sit and wonder, I start to remember. Amen. Hebrews 13, 14. This world is not our permanent home. Yes. We are looking forward to a home yet to yes. come. Yes. I start to remember. John 15, 19. The world would love you as one of its own if you belong to it. But you are no longer part of the world. I chose you to come out of the world. So it hates you. It hates me. And at times, I forget that there is something better waiting for me, but I thank the Lord for reminding me, reminding me of John 14 2. My Father's house has many mansions, and you go there to prepare a place for me. I start to remember Revelation 21 1 of the new heaven and the new earth that is yet to come. You remind me that you are coming back for me. You remind me that you paid for my sins back in Calvary. You remind me that you have never and will never forget me. You remind me that one day I will go to heaven and hear you say, my child, welcome home.
in the cool way.